Hello, beautiful soul, and welcome to the Hills Hiller Tarot. My name is Angel. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel where we learn, grow, and expand together, working to raise the collective consciousness one unique soul at a time. This channel is dedicated to spiritual enlightenment, self-actualization, and aligning to meaning and purpose in life. So if that is something that you are interested in, then you are in the perfect place at the perfect time for the perfect reason. All we have is the now, so whenever you come across this reading, it is indeed the perfect time for you. However, we do draw upon the energies of the cosmos to help guide us like a roadmap towards your highest good and your greatest soul's vibration. This is a general collective energy read for the soul sign of Aries. I do set the intention that this reading may resonate with you wherever you may find Aries placements in your chart. If you do not know your chart and your chart placements, you can get a free copy of your birth chart over at my website. The information for that is listed in the description box below. And for a limited time, if you subscribe and become a part of the soul joiner family, you can also receive a free astrology report as well. So go ahead and hit that that subscribe button and that bell. I would love to have you as a part of the Sojourner family. So this is your weekly vibration. We're going to be looking at the energies for November the 28th through the inner through November, I mean through December the 4th, 2022. So November the 28th through December the 4th, 2022, for the collective soul sign of Aries, what you can expect throughout the week. All right, we're going to pull some general energies. What are some of the major themes that are coming in for you this week for the collective soul sign of Aries? And so it is. Thank you, Spirit. High honors. I like this energy coming in. So you're accomplishing something this week, which is beautiful. Something that you've been working on, something that you've been building and creating. It's a belief in your own internal abilities and powers to succeed. And you've reached that plateau or that plateau is coming up. December is a very big gradual graduation month for a lot of people. So if you're graduating Aries, or if you have someone in your family, like your children or something that you know is graduating, it's a time for celebration as well. So there's that high honor, high value energy that's coming through that just talks about all of the accomplishments that are putting you on the path to your greatest destiny. Think, ooh, okay, great fortune. Yeah, definitely 25 to the 26 is progression energy. There's great fortune coming in for you, opportunities for growth and advancement. This is an energy that focuses on what it is that you know, and it's restoring the harmony and balance in your life. And with this high achievement that you've created, restoring the harmony and balance is bringing you to a higher level of fulfillment and attainment. Then you have the, look at this, rich girl coming in. Beautiful energy. So something that you're accomplished is going to put you in a space of abundance. This is the ability to have all of the tools and all of the uh, abilities to create more abundance, more, more prosperity, and more fulfillment in your life. You realize now through all of your hard work and efforts that you're in a really good place. And this is very good energy for manifestation. And look at this, good lady energy is coming in. This is an energy that's matured. You. It's brought you a lot of stability. This is also an energy that talks about a lot of support. Six talks about supportive community. It talks about community love. It also talks about support systems. So you have lots of supportive energy around you to help you through or help you to celebrate all of these accomplishments that are coming in this week. So this is really, really, really good energy coming in for Aries. I love it. Let's go ahead and look and see what additional energy vibration is coming in for the collective soul sign of Aries for November the 28th through December the 4th, 2022. What additional messages does the soul sign of Aries need to know for their highest vibrational good? And this is the Super Attractor Oracle by Gabrielle Bryanstein. I decided that I would pick some of these energies just to see what energy vibration is around you at this time. We're still in that Sagittarius energy, which talks about Jupiter, talks about expansion, it talks about luck. So I wanted to see what energies were around that can help support more growth and prosperity in your life. Thank you, Spirit. I am so grateful. So let's see what messages and energy is coming through. 
for Aries. We have the energy. I trust that my powerful intentions combined with my faith are enough to allow my vision to become my reality. So staying focused on the vision. I love the orange energy because you have to have that burning desire, right? I'm thinking about the energy of think and grow rich. You have to have that burning desire, that sacral energy in order to manifest. When I connect to the spiritual realm, I open the door to receive divine guidance, clear direction, and great wisdom. So this is staying open to your intuition, staying open to the messages that are coming in for your continued progression and growth. And your third energy for the week, Aries, feeling good will bring me far more than whatever I thought I needed. And I want to say your fellow fire sign also had that energy, Sagittarius, because that's the energy vibration that we're in. Feeling good will bring far more than whatever you thought that you needed. So that's that Jupiter expansion energy that's coming through to help fulfill some dreams and aspirations that you currently have that also is coming in to bring you more attainment and fulfillment in your life. So let's go ahead and see what energies are coming in, the energy vibration for Aries for the week of November the 28th through December the 4th. Those are those synchronicities, those messages, downloads coming in for you. Things are going to be getting unstuck and moving forward. I believe we have Net Neptune going from uh, from uh, retrograde going direct. And I want to say that's on the third. Let me check my notes. Yes, it's on the third. And that third energy day is a vibrational day that breaks down to three. So as things begin to pick up, there will be lots of manifestations and growth, growth opportunities coming in on the third as well. So let's see energy vibration for Aries from the 28th through December the 4th. Thank you, Spirit. I am so grateful. On Monday, the energy moving away from anything that no longer serves you well. Moving away from things that cause you discontent, dis um, disillusion, confusion, from not feeling as if though you have your own power and control in your own hands. I'm almost getting like um, gaslighting type of energy because of the energy bowl, right? She set something on fire. She's walked away from it. She's surrendering and she's releasing it and she's moving forward. So there's this energy of that's the intention for Monday with that cancer energy. Anything that makes you feel uncomfortable, anything that brings you unstable emotions or has you stuck in your head, Feel it, you know, fears, releasing all of that negative energy and moving forward with confidence towards attaining something well. The energy of eight talks about overcoming, overcoming your shadow, overcoming your fears, overcoming obstacles, difficulties, but it's also the energy that talks about faith. So you're moving forward with faith on Monday. You have the energy coming in on Tuesday, Aries Day. You have the energy of Three of Wands. You're moving forward towards your future. You're very optimistic about how things are evolving and changing in your life. And you're expecting great things to happen. There's this energy of expecting things to blossom and to grow, but there's also a need to have patience. But things are growing and expanding. You just haven't seen all the things coming into fruition yet. So you're in this energy of anticipation. And I'm feeling like it's a very heightened anticipation because you're feeling good. Your spiritual realm is connected. This is my co-creation with source energy. So you're feeling very connected to your higher self, the Ori, especially with that Aries energy being all is mind. It focuses on the head. And so you're really getting those feeling of connection and support that allows your vision to become reality. And that's the energy. I trust that my powerful intentions combined with my faith are enough to allow my vision to come my reality. And that's that energy of visualization. So you're just sitting there and visualizing and having optimal faith that everything is coming together. On Wednesday, you have the energy of the Queen of Cups. So it's that energy of nurturing yourself, loving yourself, 
supporting yourself. It could be a cleansing day for you, a day of fasting, a day of silence or meditation. But it's an energy of good vibes and following your intuition. It's a very loving, very nurturing, supportive energy. This is the energy that you're in on Wednesday. You're coming in in that expression of self-love. It's the energy that talks about showing yourself the love that you want to receive from others. So it could be anything from treating yourself to something nice, a mani petty day, or taking yourself out to lunch or even out for dinner. It's the energy of pouring into yourself today, taking time for self and implementing some personal self care. This also talks about that emotional intelligence and autonomy in your thinking and also in your feeling. Because on Thursday, things are taking off again. That Thursday energy is that Sagittarian energy. And we have the Cancer energy coming through as things are taking off and moving forward. Because what did we say was going to be going on on the energy of Thursday? Energy of Thursday is 12-1. Venus opposes Mars today. So there's that opposition <laughs> between your masculine and your feminine energy. It's a crossroads energy. Are you going to ascend into the new beginning, into the new levels, levels of expression? Or are you going to stay stuck and stagnant in that same energy? There's an energy of having those opposing views, needing to go within and do the deep soul surging to determine what is the next phase for you in your life. Thursday is a day of 12-1, which talks about understanding, knowing the new opportunities and reaching new levels of attainment and success in your life. So the chariot energy is an energy that talks about success upon your path and moving forward towards your destiny with lots of optimism, with lots of faith and with lots of forward movement. There could also be a change or a shift or a change. You thought you were heading in one direction, but the universe comes in and is now moving you in a different direction because you're in this energy of high value, high honor, high attainment, high accomplishment. There's great fortune. And so the chariot energy is the energy that's moving you towards that great fortune and towards more riches and abundance. On Friday, you have the energy coming in of the King of Wands. That's the energy of being a leader. It's a warrior energy. It's a manifesting energy. It's an energy that talks about the attainment. You're attaining your hopes, your dreams, your desires. This is also an energy of Venus, which talks about what you love. So it could be accomplishments and work, accomplishments and career. For me, King of Queen of Wands talks about entrepreneurial energy. So your business and your finances are really taking off. There's the King of Wands energy. It's Leo. So it's the energy that talks about having the fun loving spirit to attain your dreams and your desires on your own terms. So you're doing things in life on your own terms and you're having fun with it. This is an energy that just says on Friday, I'm going to go out and celebrate all of my accomplishments. And I'm going to have some fun today. That Leo energy really wants you to just go out and have fun and enjoy the success. On Saturday, there's this energy of the Seven of Swords. This could have to do with work or career, or this could just be outside influences or, or, or people around you. Seven of Swords energy could talk about some type of deception. Maybe it's some type of deception at work or with partners or other people that you work with. It is Capricorn energy, which is bringing up work and career for me, but it can also bring up the energy of acquaintances. The Seven of Swords energy also brings me back to the ego with the chariot energy. The chariot energy talks about superseding or using the ego for your own progression and growth. A lot of times the king of wands could be very egotistical and there may need to be an energy that says you need to bring down that ego just a little bit and you need to control the ego so not to self-sabotage opportunities in your life for advancement. This is an energy that talks about choice. It's an energy that talks about righteousness. Are we doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do? It's an energy that says just be mindful of your intention, right? We all have the free will to do what it is that we desire doesn't make it right. There is still a karmic balance that comes in with this energy. What you put out into the world will come back. So just be intentional and mindful of what your intentions are and that you're doing things from a righteous perspective and that you're not harming others. So that seven of swords energy is an energy that talks about also doing things in secret, not letting people know what your plans are, keeping things close to your chest so that maybe, you know, 
know, other people won't be trying to steal or take your entrepreneurial ideas. But there's just something about keeping silent, doing things strategically, having a strategic plan about how you want to move forward in business and in career. And then on Sunday, yeah, this is all business and career late related because this is what you do for work. This is your skill. You know, this is something that you're very masterful at. This is something that people seek you out for because you have mastered a certain area in your life and people seek you out for that assistance. This is also talking about more abundance and more prosperity. It's the two energies of eight are flanking each other and eight energy talks about accomplishments. It talks about change. And so we know from the seven chariot energy being in the middle of the week that there's a huge shift and a change in your life that's moving you into another direction but this new direction comes with lots of advancement and i'm feeling like supervisory or maybe even there's a promotion at work that there are other people that may not that have may have been in competition with you for that exact same promotion but it seems like that promotion is going to be awarded to you there's lots of advancement in your reading and your reading is flanked by the energy of two eights which talks about accomplishments and changes and it talks about rejuvenation regeneration and also healing energy so things are going to be moving forward for you this week beautiful look at this five of pentacles energy moving from that poverty mindset or a feeling of loss to a feeling of abundance there could be this energy of reminiscing over things that have happened in the past we do have some of that energy coming through as we have lots of transits and lots of changes in energy that are going on this week the moon is in um, on Sunday, the moon is in the energy of Taurus, which talks about your bills, your finances with that eight of pentacles energy. It's an energy that says focus on your body, focus on self love, self worth, and also self esteem. The 22 breaks down to an energy of four, which is divine feminine energy, which talks about your moon and your high priestess energy. So you're feeling that energy already on Wednesday with the Queen of Cups energy, nurturing yourself, loving yourself, supporting yourself, knowing your emotions, following your own intuition and moving forward with your own truth. But you're also inspiring other people to do the same as well. And then you have, look at this, the energy of hermit energy. This is Virgo energy that's coming through. You'll be sitting very high throughout this week. You're going to be in a very meditative contemplative state is how this is coming through you're going to be contemplating your next moves in business the growth of your business how you want to succeed in your career we also talk about that capricorn energy it talks about your life accomplishments and attainments and there's also this energy of connection connecting with yourself at a higher level and maybe even connecting to a counterpart here with that masculine and feminine energy but the way i'm really feeling this energy is it's just merging those two energies together reuniting the shadow and the light as on Wednesday we have the energy of the moon squaring the sun so you'll be in a little bit of two minds but you need to focus on the intuition and allow what needs to come through to come through there could be an opposition between what you feel and what it is that you know but you always want to follow your intuition allow your intuition in your heart to guide you forward and then you have the energy of justice at the bottom of the deck. So there will be karmic balance and the justice energy is coming out on Wednesday as well. So that's the energy of 47. It's realizing your destiny, realizing your dreams and realizing that you've accomplished so many wonderful, great things in your life and that you have lots of fortune and abundance and prosperity coming towards you. But there's this sense of needing to choose that path, right? You still have to choose because the 47 brings breaks down to an energy of 11. That's a transitional energy. It's like being between both worlds. So you have to make that choice to walk through the portal to your new life. That is your energy vibration of the week, beautiful Aries. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. I am truly honored and I am so grateful. If you haven't already done so, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that like button. Share these videos with those that you believe could benefit from the messages and subscribe. Become a part of the soldier 
join our family where we learn, grow, and expand together, working to raise the collective consciousness one unique soul at a time. And that unique soul is you. Until our soul paths cross again, soul joiners, I am wishing you love, peace, blessings, happiness, and abundance be on to you. Have a blessed and abundant day. Namaste.